hello hello everyone welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video we are continuing today with alone in the dark jumping right in last time we got the um, we got the thing <laughs> the lens we got the lens for the telescope and i think we are right outside uh it's in the drawing room the telescope was so we're just gonna head on in there and just continue if I can just move a little bit faster, that'd be great. Thank you. Nothing better bite me in my butt or anything because I'm not in a mood for that right now. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. I like this room. It's so cozy, you know? I don't like that radio. And it Barlow Let's. Yes. Oh. Oh. I I am I supposed to like align them or something? That's not it. Are they all supposed to like turn white? Is, is, is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, I think I might understand it. I Oh. Almost. That's not it. How? Okay. Cannot go further back. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Uh, was it always bright outside? Oh no. Oh no. Have we gotten to a different place? No. Oh. That was not there before. I mean, this room didn't look like this before. Before I touched that. What? What is... Oh. Okay. Someone's been having a bad day. What is this? It's a puzzle. It is a puzzle. It is... Okay. Mm. Let me... Uh... I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. Oh. Oh. Are, are we just randomly just doing this? <laughs> 941. Oh. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? So, are we in a different place now when we open this door, or what? No? But it wasn't, didn't it show, um, wasn't that the fireplace at the, um, the... Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious terraway? Uh, but wasn't that, like, the grand parlor? Wasn't that the fireplace? 
it looked like it with the fireplace. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. What was it? Hmm. I mean, we could always just go over there. We could go over there and just check. It doesn't hurt to check, right? believe this should be the way oh, no it's this room it's this room because those are the flowers oh, it's this room this is it here we go okay here we go this will take us to a different place I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud, if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The Dark Man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Oh, that's great. The dark man is here. Oh, that's wonderful. Love that for me. Love that. Do you have any advice on how to deal with the dark man? Hmm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. 
Oh, that's great advice. Got anything else? I know you said Jeremy's never been here, but does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain if that away is origin. Okay, one last. See if he has anything else. Well, good to meet you, Juan. I'm going in. May the gods be with you, Edward Deadly Run. Is he usually sure he's friendly? Are you, are you friendly? Anyways, why can't he help me? Now, where are we going, though? That's the question. I don't know. Is that it? Hmm. Let's just have a look. Let's have a look around. If there's anything. Oh. Anything at all. No. Okay. We can continue. Let's go. See if the dark man is busy. Oh, it's great. Oh, wonderful flashlight. Oh my god, the doors. The doors, even the door scares me. Is that good? Probably not. It's <laughs> probably getting scared by doors. That's a new that's a new low. A mess. Oh, you can jump, Dad. Right? You. <laughs> We're going down. Oh, no, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet. Oh, I'm gonna go home now. Dude, this is creepy. Like, I'm loving the atmosphere in this game. Like, it's so tense. That's beautiful. Okay. I don't want to walk in the water. <laughs> I'm not walking in there. <laughs> it's a very beautiful place though, even though it's like old. It's very beautiful. I like it. You know, it's a fixer upper, you know? Just fix it a little bit. Good as new. Nice windows. What is this? There's something missing. Ah. Uh. Hello? Is there anyone here? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, dude. That, that kind of creeped me out a little bit. Around the corner. Don't scare me like that, lady. It's so dark in here. Wow. I really don't want to, like, meet the dark man, though. I kind of don't want to know who it is. Or what he is. Is he like a representation of the devil? I'm not sure. I don't know. Shh, 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 shh. Before I read that book. Is there anything? Dude, those statues, those are creepy. They scare me. Was that anything? No, it's just, just my imagination. The Great Library. The Great Library. It was endless. 
beautiful, terrible, an Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood, now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the prowler. Oh, so that cross thing is a key that we need. Okay, for that thing over there. All right, all right. Like, I probably said this before, but the voice acting in this game is amazing. I love it. Probably, we're probably going up. Maybe. Probably. Most likely. That's another one of those, but it's, uh... Not working. All right, what are you pointing at? Dude, we're making so much sound. Dude. So we're probably going over there or through there. <clears throat> Let's just see if there's anything here. You never know. Oh. Uh oh. We found the key. After the suspended room was built, its key was given to the convent librarian Hubertus to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets safe from prowling eyes. Well. Uh. idea what I'm doing. Oh, hey, bitch. Sorry. I, 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 I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I just... Oh. We got Beast of Burden. Show text. The music is, you know, I gotta read this later. That it's insane. Okay, I need to get down there. Now bye, bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. Uh, run. Or not. Are we making this difficult? Go. Run. Oh, please run. Oh, please run. 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 Oh, faster. Faster. Oh, oh no. Oh no no no. 
No, 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 no. Go, go, go. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Oh, just keep running. Oh no! Did we make it? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. And that was very loud. That was very loud as well. I might have to adjust the music a little bit. Let me just do that real quickly. Okay, I've turned it down a little bit. Maybe uh, maybe I can read that thing now. Which was it? It was Burden of Beasts. Bull worship is common throughout history. For Christians, this can be seen as Exodus when the Israelites turned to worship a golden calf in Moses' Moses' absence. This passage shows the people falling back to their worship witnessed in Egypt, known as the Hapis Pull. Another famous example is the Minoans on the island of Crete. Their worship of the bull gave rise to the myth of the Minotaurs, the half-man, half-bull monster that reigned the labyrinth. But for this particular case, I think I should tell you about the deity Arstel that brought the Taurus constellation to life to attack Gilgamesh. Even for a mythical hero, this celestial bull war would prove difficult to defeat. Only by distracting the bull with a golden sail was Gilgamesh only able to pierce an eye with a spear, which bled the bull to death. All right. All right. Has the objective uh, updated for us? Kambi felt confused by the pleasant nature of Terawea. It was somehow uncomfortable to him. Juan. The sweater-wearing Buddha wasn't helping either. According to Conby, people just weren't meant to be this nice and genuine. Best to hurry off to the library, he thought, and see if he could find information about Jeremy's relationship with the dog man. Right, so find a way inside the caged room. We can do that as long as that dude doesn't show up again. That must have been the dark man, right? Right? It was wearing an Egyptian mask of some kind. Wasn't it Egyptian? Like an old Egyptian thing? He was dressed like an old Egyptian. Like a pharaoh. Or something else of that time period. At least that's what it looked like to me, at least. I might be wrong. I'm wrong most of the time, so... <laughs> Let's get it. I might have to fix the audio again. It's still very loud. Has this always been this loud? Hold on. 
It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. <laughs> Detective! What? What? I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no going back. <laughs> So close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carmby, think. Think. The shipping company. Prext. Right. Good luck, Detective. Thank God you're here, Detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, Detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, Detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the Dark Man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder. If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> It's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. What? You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance? I do. They made big money during the war. Their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Wow, this place is like tripping. Like, how'd she do that? Has she, has she already met the Dark Man? Has she already made a deal somehow? Like, what's going on? I, I, wow, okay. Okay, we got another one done. The Crescent City. All right, that's cool. Let's uh, have a look. Uh, New Orleans lies southwest of uh, Darsetto along the Great Mississippi River. Its old town, the French Quarter, or the... I don't speak French. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Is it Vox Her... I, I don't know. Is the home of the proud and often rich uh, Creoles. Wrapped around the center, you will find a large and eclectic city full of people, including the most mundane dock workers, 
reckless, reckless gangsters, jazz crazed flappers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of Derseto and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. Oh wait, we can actually play? Oh. I've just been sitting here like an idiot reading for you guys, and I just noticed now that you can just play it. Well, I'm a dumbass. I am stupid. <laughs> Price to shipping company. According to the book in Tarawea, the dark man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Oh. I... Sir? 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 I'm trying to finish a video here. Dude. Where? Where did he come from? Anywho. <laughs> I think this is a great place to end the video as well. So that is what we're going to do. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough so far. Uh, I've been having so much fun with this game. Uh, it definitely keeping me interested. And it makes me want to play more. So thank you guys for spending a few minutes. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah. Uh, leave a like. Hit the red button. And uh, maybe drop me a comment down below. Would really much appreciate that. And you guys take care of yourself and stay safe. And I see you guys later. Bye bye.